Yo, what is going on, you mischievous magbees? Today we're taking a look at the deck that I managed to take second place with at North Carolina Regionals, uh, coming up short in the end of the win to uh, the Drampa Garb, which is a uh, pretty terrible matchup. Um, I knew it would be rough, and then once I got into the finals and started playing the games, I was like, wow, this is a really bad matchup. Um, but yeah, anyways, managed to play second. Um, I'll take it. It's not too bad. Uh, I played Archie Stoice along with the rest of the gang, um, and this is the list we played. I thought I'd go over a couple of the cards real quickly. Um, let loose Marshadow over Shaman, one of the best cards in the deck for sure. Let loose Marshadow is just like by one, of far, by far one of the best cards in the game. Um, it's actually kind of crazy how good this card is. Um, still gives you draw power equal, not equal to a Shaman um, all the time, but sometimes equal to or different. Um, definitely um, glad we played the Let Loose Marshadow. Definitely has a lot of interesting and useful capabilities um, over the third team. I don't think I'd ever play three Shaman and a Let Loose Marshadow. It's kind of just like overkill on draw power at that point. Uh, we played the Onyx. Very useful against the Zorak matchup specifically. Um, giving yourself another attacker um, to kind of that can kind of just like one shot Zorks um, when you're not able to get out like the Kingdra or you can't find the Choice Band or have to burn the Choice Band for the Whale Lord. You really only have the Snorlax that can one shot Zorks, so having the backup of the Onyx is really nice. You can also one shot Trash Lanch Garbiter. So against the Zoro Garb matchup, specifically very good. Also good against Pikaram, especially because Pikaram players were cutting down to like two flash energy. So on one of their Pikaram, they usually just won't have a flash, and then Onyx just comes through and gets a clean knockout. So that's super nice. Uh, two Egg is pretty standard. One Lele is pretty standard. We played the Articuno uh, for one prize or matchups, and then just awkward situations where it was just like, well, um, I can kind of just draw an extra prize with the Articuno here, and then you just draw the extra prize with the Articuno. Specifically good against Zorak, actually. Um, pretty good against the Zorak matchup. Um, and then time here, just like, well, I'm going to hit this thing really hard, but now I'll knock it out. I'll clean it up later with Tri-Edge. Um, so it gave you, like, another route to kind of, like, draw your six prize cards. So I found this card to be super useful throughout the weekend when it was like, well, you came up a little bit short on a knockout. Um, or, you, like, you, you couldn't quite get the one shot with one Pokemon. Then you attack with a different Pokemon instead. And you're like, okay, now I can clean that up with Articuno later on. Um, so big fan of the... The Articuno overall on the weekend. One Whale Lord Magikarp. Uh, a lot of people opt for two Whale Lord Magikarp, but I think it's kind of pointless. You only ever really need one. Some games you don't need it at all. Um, the deck is not quite built to do turn one Towering Splash GX or even like turn two, so really unnecessary to play two, I found. Um, best attacker in the deck probably is the Volcanion Prism Star. Like neutrally, the best uh, Pokemon to start taking prizes with is probably the Volcanion Prism. Uh, depending on the matchup, some one of the GXs or the Articuno could be better, but just like if you're like, well, if I want to open up with a Pokemon and attack with it on my first or second turn, it's going to be Volcanion Prism Star. And then you kind of branch off from there. Two Blastoise, standard Kingdra. Not everyone plays the Kingdra. We opted to play the Kingdra for the Mirror Match. It's good in Mirror Match, Picaram, and Zoro Garb. So uh, the three most popular decks, I think, at the tournament, that's what we predicted to be the three most popular decks. So there's no reason not to play the Kingdra, and we opted with the Kingdra. Super glad we did. I used it a whole bunch throughout the whole tournament. It's just such a good card. Like, it's by far the best attacker in the deck. It's just the most most awkward attacker to get out because they need the second Archies. Um, for Battle Compressor Standard, Computer Search is Standard. We opted for a second Field Blower over Viridian, or most of us did. Um... And super glad we did. I played against like six Zoro. I played against Zorogarb like six times, I think, maybe more. Um, so super glad to have the second field blower in there. Was one of the main reasons I was able to take many of my games off of the uh, the Zorogarb matchup. Uh, for order pad, just want to be straightforward, consistent. One professor's letter. Always nice to be able to go order pad or trainer's mail into a trainer that can get energy. Uh, for superior energy retrieval, for ultra ball, for via seeker, all standard. One lat side lab standard as well. Two RTs standard. Some people opt for not playing the fisherman. Um, but when you get those awkward hands, like I got quite a few times where you have to discard two to three superior on your first or second turn, it's nice to have some backup from the Fisherman to actually get some energy back into play. Got one Guzma, one Sycamore, one Tate, and Liza. Pretty standard. We opted to not play N, and that's mainly because once you, you're either behind with the deck and you're probably going to lose unless you make a big comeback play through an attacker, um, but you don't really have a way to lock your opponent out of the game. Like, you can end them, but so many decks play ways to draw cards or just have game on board as is. That N doesn't really do that much with this deck. As the Blastoise deck, you're usually ahead on the prize race, and as long as you just keep doing stuff, you're going to win the game. Um, so N, I'm, I only wanted N, I think, one game out of all the games I played. There's only one game where I was like, okay, N would be okay here. I ended up winning the game anyways um so super glad we didn't play the end over the all the Titan Liza was super clutch consistently throughout the tournament and then having the, the just the draw power of Sycamore was also nice so the two draw supporters we ended up going with was the Titan Liza and the Sycamore super glad we did and would have been not great overall one choice band two choice band would be nice but really there's no room if you just want to stay consistent like I said like through the four order pad so on kind of opted like the the second field blower is kind of like the the, the cut where you'd be like well I could make this the 
the second choice band if I don't expect a ton of Zoro Garb. Zoro Garb's really the only reason you need the second field blower. Um, but if you're like, there's going to be Zoro Garb, you play the second field blower. And then 10 water energy. Some people opt for 11. It lessens the chance of you getting off the turn one uh rgs by having an extra water energy in your deck um also we're not like i said is it the deck is no longer a turn one towering splash gx deck the whale is just a really good pokemon to have in the deck and you have the option of the towering splash gx so like if you're afraid of prizing triple water which i did many times but it wasn't a big deal because once again we're not just trying to towering splash gx and be like okay that's the game you're done um you know we're not playing four professors letter like we used to and stuff like that so you don't really need the 11 water energy it's kind of pointless like, all, all it does i think is it really can hurt you and hurt your consistency overall um 10 water energy is more than enough yeah so that's the list um let's go ahead and get into some games and i'll show you guys how it runs first game here we have a pretty good hand as long as lele is not prized um we have the turn one almost guaranteed playing against a zorark deck all right and so we have the turn one pretty much guaranteed with the uh triple ultra ball we can grab blastoise and then um ultra ball again so we can go like man so we can go double water here Ultra Ball away, two water for an egg. Uh, Ultra Ball away, water plus egg. Uh, get Blastoise. Ultra Ball away, egg plus Blastoise. Check the order pad. So I think we'll just start with, okay, we top decked another water energy. So we can get four water in the discard pile here, which is actually pretty good. All right, so we're going to go ahead and grab double water. There's the Blastoise. There's Lele. Just need to check for an Archie. There's an Archie. So we're all good. We're set with that. Um, so I think we just grabbed two water here. And then turn one attacker could be a couple different things. Articuno would be okay. Um, so we're going to do these to grab egg, I believe. I don't want to mess this up here. Grab the egg. Then we're going to ultra ball away the egg and the water to grab Blastoise. Yep, and then we're going to Ultra Ball away the Egg plus the Blastoise to get Lele, Lele for the card. Ultra Ball away those two. No. And then I guess we'll go ahead and check Order Pad here. Let's see, Tails, that's fine. Yep, grab the Egg back, Water attached to the active, and then Lele for Archies. Don't have a ton of way to find uh, attackers now, though, unfortunately, because we are, like, out of Ultra Ball. So it's kind of going to be whatever we can gr get off of it uh, is what we'll go with. We have Ultra Ball and Computer Search left. Um, let's see, we prized one water energy. Looks like the Tate and Liza. Superior. Mm, Whale Lord. All right, that's fine. We're doing just fine. All right, Lele, gonna go ahead and grab the Archie. And then, yeah, attach active. Play the Archie, Archie for the Blastoise. Get the Blastoise out and roll in. Um, ideally find a way to set up Articuno and get him into the active. We need Articuno plus a superior. Um, but we'll see we draw. There's the Articuno. No superior. We need, like, Computer Search or Ultra Ball to continue this turn. Or the superior, and we could just take the knockout, which would also be fine. So we're gonna go ahead and go with Battle Compressor. Completely thin out the deck of everything to increase our chances of this Trainer's Mail. Finding us something. Um, we don't have Layla anymore, so pretty much just getting access to our supporters through Via Seeker is fine. Uh, another Compressor gonna come down here. We're going to get rid of uh, Fisherman. I'm going to keep the second Archie in deck. I like keeping the second Archie in deck. Uh, maybe I will ditch it, actually. No, we'll keep the second Archie in deck. Going to keep the Waters. Going to keep the Silent Lab. Ultra Ball. Trainers may want to keep. Order Pads are good as well. All the Attackers are good. This one is kind of... Volcanion is kind of the worst Attacker. I could get rid of Volcanion here. I feel like I'm not going to use Volcanion anymore. Um, or very unlikely to use Volcanion. Then we could get rid of a compressor as well. We don't really have anything else left to really compress her. Yeah, I think those three will do. And then we'll check this trainer's mail. Um, see if it can't get us something decent. Oh, order pad. All right, here we go. All on this order pad heads. If we can actually stay in this game. Oof, close one. All right, it's going to be uh, Ultra Ball here. We're definitely going to go get a Shaman and set up um, for sure. Definitely need to see cards. Need to see some cards, just cards in general. Nothing super specific, just need to see some cards. Get rid of those two. Grab that Shaman. We have three superior left. Yeah, so we're going to do fine. Yeah, the Articuno is actually a great attacker here as well into the Zerua. Um, so we just need a superior. There's a superior. Some trainer's males as well. I'm going to go ahead and get this egg back. And I'll superior away the egg plus the Archie. 
Make an Archie. Get some water energy. I would kind of like to set up another attacker here, actually. Maybe it's not even that important to actually bench another attacker, because then I would leave the bench race open for Shaman, potentially. Yeah, I guess we're just chilling. Um, not really actually feeling that pressure to do anything. Changed my mind. At first I was like, well, it'd be nice to, but we could just save them for next turn, see what next turn brings. But we do have, we are sitting on two water energy, which kind of stinks. Um, so I wouldn't really, I would definitely like to put those on a Pokemon. Actually, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and dig a little deeper here. There's computer search, but that should not be for, if anything, I want to use that for the Archie of the Kingdra. So I think we're just chilling once again, actually. We're just gonna retreat and then try edge. Um, yeah, I think it's gonna be retreat and try edge here. I could put one water energy on the egg. Um, that way we have a free retreater to go into next turn. Yeah, I like that. And then, yeah, that's it. Um, if they don't KO the Articuno, we're in a good spot, so I don't really mind the extra energy on the bench. There's one head, so that's the knockout. Yeah, this is what Articuno is really good for early on. Just getting that a little bit ahead in the prize exchange here. Um, I really opened it up for some possibilities. There's a Tate and Liza, which is great. Um, be able to have a draw supporter for the turn. Computer search and the superior is great as well. Let's see how many items we got in here. We, I think we got a whole bunch. They're doing 260 damage potentially with the Trash Lanch. So Trash Lanch is a big threat right now for us. Um, definitely scared of that guy. Definitely scared of the Trash Lanch. Um, but besides that, uh, we're doing fine. Trash Lanch is the only real threat that they potentially have. There's the ability lock arb, leaving the trouble open as well. So they got a whole bunch of stuff going on here. Yeah, it's actually looking really good. It's looking like a really good turn for our opponent, actually. We'll see. Um, so I'm gonna look to like try and set up another attacker plus set up Kingdra. Uh, once again, the Whale Lord is still prized, so we can't even reach for the Whale Lord GX attack if we wanted to. But we do have like computer search for Ultra Ball, get another attacker in play potentially uh, superior to it. Not anymore. There's the Pseudo Wudo. That's always gonna make this awkward. Uh, yeah, Pseudo Wudo makes this very awkward for us. Um, but they'll actually probably ability lock us in the end, so it probably is not gonna be actually that bad. They will probably ability lock us. Uh, which means we will be fine. Um, so yeah, if we can find like the field blower off the trainer's mail, which isn't when it shouldn't be too hard. I assume we're gonna get ability locked here. Uh, field blower off trainer's mail, field blower this. Um, get access to our abilities again. Use the egg, get some energy with superior. Um, I'm assuming the Articuno is being knocked down. It's very possible it doesn't. We could get, we could probably set up the, um, what's it called? Uh, Eevee Snorlax as well as the Kingdra in one turn. I think we'd actually be able to do that pretty reasonably. Um, but yeah, it does kind of come down to what our opponent has here themselves. Um, and if they are able to get a tool, if they're not able to get a tool here, I think we're in a great spot, actually. There's the Klefki. So that is the tool they need. Uh, so I guess the thing now is, do they actually even have a DCE? There's the DCE, as I say it, there it is. And the Klefki will be put on the garb and we're gonna get knocked out. All right, this is all what we expected to have happen. Um, yeah, this is, this is basically what I expected to happen here, yeah. There we go, Klefki to garb. Our bench gets opened up, which is actually really nice for us. But yeah, our, a lot of our turn is gonna come down to what the trainer's mail brings us. So we're gonna have to wait and see here. Uh, Whale or GX would just end the game here if we were able to set that up. I don't think that's gonna happen. Uh, very unlikely here. All right, there's a top deck, another trainer's mail, pretty good. Um, so we need field blower. Um, we also want, all right, so there's Via Seeker, which gets us the Archies. So then we can actually just computer search for the field blower, but we're gonna check this first. Um, and then we could go computer search. Oh wait, actually, we might wanna go computer search away Tate and Liza. Plus trainer's mail, field blower away that, and the sky field, and then we'd. But I could get another trainer out of my deck. Like I could get an order pad off this, or the field blower itself. Um, yeah, let's check this first. So there's the field blower itself. So now we can use computer search for something else. So we go field blower. Gonna get rid of this. And the sky field because the sign line will come down anyways, and we're gonna get pseudo widow, so I'm just gonna bump it right now. And now I get access to the egg for the computer search and the superior energy retrieval. Um, and I don't think I messed this up so far. So now we get the egg back. We're gonna computer search for the well, what's it called? Computer search away these two. Grab the Oh wait, we can actually use an Onyx here, which is actually a little bit better, I think. Yeah, so this is why the Onyx are pretty good. They only draw one prize off the Onyx, too. So yeah, we're gonna use the Onyx here. Grab the Onyx. 
Um, gonna get the egg back. Superior way and energy and the egg. Bench the onyx. All the energy the onyx. Silent lab. Shut down pseudo widow and then be a seeker. Archies for Kingdra. All right, sounds good. Get the egg. Superior away. Egg and water. Grab four. Onyx makes its way down. Deluge. Silent Lab opens our bench up again, shutting down the pseudo widow via Seeker, Archies, and then, like I said, Archies for the Kingdra. Super clean game so far. Has drawn, we've been drawing it pretty well, actually. The Articuno KO into the Onyx KO and to draw some cards. Like, actually pretty crazy good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play a Battle Compressor here. I'm going to ditch those. Um, Eevee Stormlax is still potentially good. I think I'm going to ditch the Let Loose March Shadow because I don't think we're gonna open, our bench will open up that much ever again. And we'd rather almost always use the Shaman. So I think I'm going to ditch these. Um, uh, maybe I don't want to ditch the Waters. No, I think I do. I think I do want to ditch the Waters here. Because um, then we just need Superior plus this. We don't want to draw into Water Energy anymore. We just want to draw Superior plus the other card. So yeah, I think we ditch those. Deluge one more time. I think I'm going to go ahead and leave the order pad in the deck. Sometimes you just want to start burning the order pads because they become kind of useless. But I think I'm going to leave this one in hand. Um, and then there we go. Land Crush. Um, so using a Zorak on their end is not a great answer for them. Uh, into our Onyx. It's just not a great, uh, great answer. <laughs> There's better answers on their end. They definitely want to try and use Trash Lance. So they have Floatstone in hand because they sent up Garbodor. Or they have some Guzma play about to go down. Um... Yeah, using a Zork isn't great. We have two prizes left, and then they'd be down to uh, there'd be a two prizer in their active, so that'd be great for us. Um, so we want them to use Zorark. I doubt they'll use Zorark. They definitely want to use Trash Lance. The problem with Trash Lance is uh, they only usually run one to two Trash Lance and one to two one to two Psychic Energy, and they have yet to use a Chorus, so they haven't seen a whole ton of their deck yet. Um, so I would not surprise me if they were unable to find the Trash Lance knockout on this Onyx, and we're forced to use. Zorark instead, but we'll see what they end up coming up with on their turn. Uh, they definitely want to end us, that's for sure. End us down to two. And there's the concede. Um, I'm assuming that trade found them almost absolutely nothing. <laughs> and we're able to take a pretty quick, pretty quick game one there. Um, yeah, you can definitely snowball that game kind of out of control like we did in that one against the Zoro Garb as the Archie Stois. Um, they need to hit like a lot more um, and draw a little bit better than you to actually pull it off. If they do get what they need though they're definitely become pretty favored in the matchup but like you know you force them to try and find it you force them to have to find it like pretty quick pretty fast and sometimes you can even like keep your bench really small and their chorus doesn't even get that many cards on the early chorus but yeah that one they kind of just didn't find anything too or too early too early on and we drew we drew pretty well we got to attack with what we wanted to attack with and kind of just like snowballed the game out of control from there the game here our opening hand is actually pretty good if we can hit a heads on a order pad we definitely just have the turn one Archies open the Eevee Snorlax, which is also pretty solid. Uh, depending on the matchup, it can actually go pretty wrong pretty fast. But generally, opening Eevee Snorlax is uh, is pretty good. Um, let's see, they opened a Let Loose. That doesn't do a whole ton. So yeah, we're just gonna check the order pads first. We're just looking for a Via Seeker off of one of these. There we go. Heads. I'm go ahead and grab a Via Seeker. Um, and yeah, we should have the turn one as long as we didn't prize both Archies, which I did not check for, but we can go ahead and compress it right now and find out. Yep, there's an Archies. I'm going to get rid of those three. We have to get rid of water energy on this one. Oh, we didn't really need to get rid of a second blast. Let's go ahead and check this order pad. Huh? Order pad. Again, we're going to get another compressor. All right, we're just going, we're going fast here. Um, we're going to completely thin out the deck of all the garbage. We still have Lele in there, so we don't really want to start ditching supporters yet. I like to kind of leave the supporters. I like to get rid of one of the supporters, uh, one of the draw supporters, because if we only find Via Seeker on the other side of this, we're going to need that. There's only two superior in here, so I kind of want to leave all the water energy. So then I'm going to grab Tate here. Um, we need to grab a water energy off the other one. But I generally want to leave all the water energy when we don't have a super high count of the, su uh, the superior energy retrievals, and we have a Professor's Letter in the deck. Um, so I'm just going to ditch these three. I like the idea of having the Tate over the Sycamore because it also gives us the switch effect potentially. Um, Alright, so we need to get rid of one water energy here. And then two other cards. What else is just like useless? No idea what we're playing against. Um, so all of our attackers are potentially good. Last Battle Compressor is always potentially good. Maybe I will just ditch three. No, I can't ditch three water on this one. 
Could just ditch Guzma, give ourselves the Guzma option. So I'm ticking down here on time. Could get rid of the other compressor. Let's get rid of Guzma. And that might be it. I can't really come up with anything else. Let's just do those two as I'm running out of time here. I hope I got rid of an Archie's there. All right, so now we have access to Guzma through the Via Seekers, which isn't that great that like early on. I don't think it's like that big of a deal to have access to it like that. Um, it's like okay. Yeah, like I was trying to come up with something better. I couldn't really come up with anything better. This can be one of the struggles when you draw this many, um, what's it called, this early on. Grab two water. We have two egg in here. Nice. We're going to trainers map. We're going to look for a ultra ball order pad or something else. No such luck. Um, so we're chilling. I don't even think we're going to put the water energy on the Eevee Snorlax because if they just have Guzma bring up Blastoise, then we just get stuck because our hand is dead. So we're just passing. Yeah, so not a great start from us. Um, I mean, it was a good good initial start. We thinned out a lot of our deck. Um, then we kind of hit a... Hit a uh, I don't even know what you want to call it. Anyways, uh, so yeah, that's why I like to get rid of the Tainlines, because if we like top deck Via Seeker here, we could have transmail the Via Seeker, we at least have a, access to a draw supporter for the turn, whereas if we just don't ditch the uh, Sycamore Tain Lines, we're just kind of stuck for a turn. So we are playing a mirror match. There's our opponent's Blastoise. Um, yeah, so then we just kind of become stuck for a turn. Hopefully they don't have, well, they're already using a second battle compressor. They probably have a pretty good turn one as well. Hopefully not too good. <laughs> we need them to kind of like brick for a turn. Who knows, we might even use Megaton Friends GX. Um, so we can actually see some decent cards. Um, that actually wouldn't be a terrible idea. There we go. There's another compressor and then the trainer's mail. I usually personally like to use trainer's mail first to, to know for sure what I can get off, get rid of off of my compressors. Um, because what you get off the trainer's mail can actually drastically affect what you get off your trainer's mail. Unless you already set up like it looks like our opponent is to get the arches no matter what. Then you'd compressor first and be like, okay, well, it looks like it's going to be... Um, via Seeker for Archie here, which in this case it is fine. Yeah, there's the Onyx, which could just knock us out this turn if they're able to find Choice Band um, plus four water or five water energy total to be able to retreat the Mars Shadow and then get into the Onyx. We could be in trouble here um, as it would take an early knockout on our Eevee Snorlax. And then, like I said, our current hand has no follow up at all um, except for our top deck potentially. Yeah, we were looking to potentially let loose our opponent with that trainer's mail. We were hoping for the Ultra Ball computer search or order pad into heads into Ultra Ball um, to get the let loose Marshadow disrupt our opponent on the first turn. No such luck. Now it's looking like uh, we might be in some big trouble here with this Onyx about a swing with a land crush. Potentially. They got two water to hand and they have three water in the discard pile. So if they just have a superior. Um, they will be able to at least attack with the Onyx, which is bad enough. And then on top of that, they find the Choice Band. Uh, well, it gets even worse. Uh, but we'll see. We're hoping they, even if they hit us, we're hoping they just don't just don't have the Choice Band. If they just don't have the Choice Band, we have a chance. If they have the Choice Band, well, I think we are in a pretty bad spot. Uh, I don't know, we could attack with Blastoise maybe, but that's never good. There's a Trainer's Mail. No Choice Band. All right, it's a Guzma. It's good, it's good for us. They do still have some more dig though. Um, have the shaman in hand. I expect a uh, oh another ultra ball. That's actually, that's actually just really good for for them. <laughs> They're probably gonna grab a, another attacker here. Um, set up that probably the whale lord. Whale lord's usually like, neutrally the best attacker in the mirror match. Going for nothing, opting for nothing, leave their bench base open. Maybe they have some basic Pokemon in hand. They're gonna bench down before they go for the setup. Here come the water energy. One to the Marchado, one to the Onyx. Setup for five is uh, what I'm... Ooh, they had two in hand. Even worse. It, it gets worse. It gets worse, folks. And then there's the setup for six. They just need a superior energy retrieval. Um, and we're gonna be knocked out. And I wouldn't be surprised if they also found the choice band as long as it's in the deck. There's an order pad. There's a tails. Um, yeah, because they have, you know... Heavy order pad, heavy trainer smile, uh, the computer search as well, the choice band as well. Um, so it really would not be that uh, ridiculous if they were able to actually find that knockout on the EV Star next year. And it would put them way ahead, so it's like worth digging that little bit extra to try and grab. We see if they grab the order pad here off the trainer's mail. We need a tail, so. All right, maybe we're gonna be safe for a turn. We'll see, we'll find out here shortly. I almost wanna go ahead and knock out their Onyx. Um, Onyx is the only thing besides Kingdra. And there's the concede from our opponent. Uh, I definitely would not have conceded if I was them. Maybe their hand was dead, but even then, I was stuck with an Eevee Snorlax on my active that did not have a super explosive turn. So we take a another game. I don't think we should have taken this game there. Our opponent does concede in the end, I guess. Getting into another one here. Opening the Shaman, not great. Opening hand, not guaranteed Archies. Definitely doable with the Trainer's Mails. Might need a little help from our 
top deck, um, but this is fine. We're doing, it's gonna be just fine here. Playing against a, a Vulpix. So we have no idea what we're playing against yet. Um, could be probably some kind of guard board deck, yeah. There's the fairy energy, so it's definitely some kind of guard board deck. All right, we could actually just win here on turn one if our trainer's mails allow us. Um, I think order pad is better than compressor here. Um, we attempt the order pad first. We could just trainer's mail first. We order pad heads. We got computer search, battle compressor. Um, with the transfer because it's an ultra ball then we can just get gap battle compressor and save it um nope don't want that all right order pad all comes down to the order pad here heads there it is computer search is prized oh no all right gonna be an ultra ball then and we're gonna dig four hmm looks like shaman is also prized welp we are in and let loose all right interesting uh predicament we find ourselves in gonna go ahead and get rid of the archie and the water I'm gonna have to be lele for tate and liza hopefully at least tate and liza is in here yep we at least have tate and liza yeah i don't want to discard a bunch more water energy and i would like to save the professor's letter as well so yeah we're in a interesting interesting situation we should be fine though was prized second shaman was also prized um shuffle draw five just looking to keep the hand size small. All right, currently almost everything is burnable. Um, I think I will go ahead and use a battle compressor here. We're going to get rid of Blastoise, Egg, and Kingdra, I think is the best three to get rid of here. Um, our Lele is down, but uh, yeah, I think I want to get rid of these three. Get rid of those three. Um, and then I go ahead and pass to our opponent. And we'll see what they've got. We should be able to pull it off next turn. We should be able to find a Ultra Ball or tool some way we should be able to find some way to pull it off next turn could grab a superior um and then we have one water we'd be able to grab out the discard pile another energy to our opponents active is it gonna be the icy snow nope there's the nine tails all right so they were just chilling on the nine tails the whole time kind of buying their time on that one i think or biting their time wanting to pull off the nine tails instead of uh, maybe playing a supporter last turn who knows uh they do have the mysterious guidance now so i highly i definitely expect um something bigger then uh, just a snowy wind pass to go down. There's an evil soda and a via seeker. Interesting. Maybe they have a battle compressor in hand. I'm a little uh, suspicious of the the via seeker grab there. Just gonna be a snowy wind. All right. Um, so they're definitely putting the pressure on us. So we definitely need to come up with something here. Waylord is kind of cool. It's a cool guy. All right. We're gonna check the trainer's mail first. I was like checking trainer's mail first. All right. We're gonna grab the battle compressor. And then it's going to be down to the order pad once again. Here we go. Order pad. There's the heads. Awesome. Um, don't want to waste a superior, but I will be fine wasting an ultra ball. Grab that. Uh, we have an egg in the discard pile. I'm going to be able to get rid of that. So we're going to go ahead and battle compressor. Get rid of this, this, and... Uh, we have three VS Seekers left. Already have a shuffle draw on the deck. Goose doesn't seem that good. Maybe Fisherman is the best way to go, actually, on the next discard here. I yeah, kind of like the idea of that. And that sounds good to me. All right, we're gonna go ahead and bring this egg back. One thing that's important to note here is we don't have any extra dig after the, um, so actually maybe I should have actually compressed away triple water there instead, actually. We can just, we'll have to probably just go ahead and go with a sky return here on the other side of this. Uh, I guess we should grab the Snorlax Eevee because it is the thing that's easiest to knock out this Ninetales. Um, and the squad comes down, and then as long as I didn't forget to put an Archie in the discard pile, which I don't think I did, there he is. Uh, Archie for the Blastoise. Yeah, I could have just ditched triple water into the discard pile, actually. I probably should have done that on that second compressor there. Wasn't really thinking about it. Um, or double water at the very least. Okay, well, uh, still close to being able to attack. Um, so let's see, that'll be one water, two water. So I want three, four water, three, four. And then, I don't know, what else is like the terrible... That's one, two, and then three, four on the retreat. We have two more here. Um, so drawing into a water would have been fine, but we have no way to draw cards. Um, I think we just get rid of the goose and give ourselves that an option off the Via Seeker. Sounds fine to me. Thin the deck out again. Grab two more water. Just need one water. Uh, Trainer's Mail can find us. Superior. That is not a water energy. All right. Um, I guess we just go ahead and grab the field blower then. Or we actually grab nothing. Try and pull off the Kingdra next turn. 
Um, we're just gonna go with the Sky Return here. I will deluge a couple times to the EV Snorlax though. I'm gonna go ahead and send up the. Uh, oh, I guess we can take the knockout with the Whale Lord next turn. What do we have? Four in here now. Three in here because we plan on retreating, but then we didn't. Um, that was kind of unfortunate. Um, let's go ahead and throw it on the Lele actually, so that way we know we're gonna retrieve the Lele. I guess they can both take the knockout, but it depends depending on what this EV turns into is what we're gonna want to like actually send up. Uh, so we can get off the Archies for the Kingdra next turn, depending on our top deck. I actually, I don't know if there's actually a top deck that would stop us. Oh, no, there is. There's a couple top decks that would stop us from doing it. Um, it's not that important for us to get our Kingdra, I don't think. No idea what we're playing against. This EV might evolve here um, and give us a little bit more information on what we're playing against here. Uh, if it's a Sylveon, that's pretty annoying, but very manageable. It is a Sylveon. Very annoying, but very manageable. Um, just need to attack it. Uh, setting up Kingdra is pretty good. We don't actually want to overly fill our bench because we want to leave bench space open for... I don't know. I guess they are... I don't know if they're kind of a lock deck or maybe it's Sylveon Ninetales Guardi. Um, Ninetales would be kind of weird to run with just Sylveon GX, just those two together. So, yeah, I'm a little lost on this one. We'll see what they end up going with, though. Um, and they were pretty aggressive. There's another Snowy win. I was going to say, they're pretty aggressive about using the Ninetales. So. All right, we're definitely going to attack him with Eevee Snorlax, I think, this turn. I think that's the way to go. Uh, the Volcano is a little bit of a meh top deck. Um, and Luge. I'm going to keep a bench space open here. Um, I'm just going to attack with the uh, Eevee Snorlax. Um, mm, I really do want to keep my bench spaces open. I kind of don't want any of these in my hand. I could Via Seeker for Fisherman here. I think that might be the best way to go. Oh, I should have retreated first. Oh, no, I can still retreat. Oh, yeah, we can retreat first and then Fisherman. That's fine. We have a Shaman in hand, so, like, we have outs to draw more cards. We just need energy this turn anyways. Just go ahead and grab the energy. And then, uh, Deluge. Just one here. I'm going to keep the other three in hand. Yeah, I'm just going to keep the other three in hand. In case they go... Well, what would I be scared of? If they go, like, Guzma up the Blastoise, that would be annoying. Or, like, Countercatcher. Yeah, we should keep the other three in hand. Dump Truck Press. Uh, one play that can be super annoying in this matchup is if our opponent this next turn goes Guzma Plea. Uh, pick up your Blastoise, pick up your EV Snorlax. That would be super annoying. In that case, we'd have to go look for a... Um... Tate and Liza, reset the hand, and then I kind of work from there. All right, so it is a Guardi deck, so I'm not expecting Counter Catcher plus Plea. We figured out what we're playing against finally. It is a Guardi deck. Guardi, Sylveon, Ninetales. Um, super unsure of what we were playing against at first, and there's a DC to the Ronalds as well. Now I'm pretty, pretty, pretty positive I know what's going on here. Um, we're just going to go ahead and send this thing up and knock it out with the uh, push it up, and then sauna, or uh, push it up and then just KO it with the dump, dump truck press. Um, could just take out the Sylveon, but then we don't really have a way to one-shot the... Well, that's not true. We could just actually set up the Kingdra, and Kingdra does one-shot Guardi. So actually, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go um, Knockout Active, and then just set up the Kingdra to one-shot the Guardi on the following turn. I guess it could become a Gallade, which would be pretty annoying. Um, I didn't really think about that. Maybe it could become a Gallade. Maybe I do just want to knock this thing out then. Yeah, I think we actually just want to knock it out. Now, we could either go with the Sauna Blast... Um, leave the Snorlax on the bench. Could just knock out the active and then set up Kingdra still. I kind of like knockout active, set up Kingdra still, actually, though. Yeah, let's go with that. All right. We're going to go with knockout active, set up Kingdra. Unfortunately, top deck of the, what's it called? The Superior Energy Retrieval. But it's really not that big of a deal. Get rid of these two guys. Don't need them anymore. Second Archie in here. Perfect. Kingdra's in here, right? Yeah, okay. That would have been unfortunate if Kingdra wasn't in there. But Kingdra's in there. All good. Two VS Seekers left, so we still have plenty of mobility. Yep. And then Archies for the Kingdra. And then, yeah, just Dump Truck Press. Even if they hit us with a Gallade on the next turn, um... Really not that big of a deal. We'll just knock it out with the Whale Lord. Um, so, yeah. Even if they end up going with Gallade next turn, which uh, very reasonable that they have Gallade this turn, going into this turn. They'll get three prizes, but then we'll knock it out with Whale Lord. And then from there, they don't really have another attacker set up. We'd maybe even let loose them as well. Their hand has gotten pretty big. Um, it'll probably thin out pretty pretty heavily this turn. Magical Raven, you're usually taking what you're going to use. So, 
But yeah, if it is a Guardi, we should just have the game through the Kingdra. If it's a Gallade, not a Guardi, so I think we're just going to be able to win this one on the next turn. Um, if it was a Gallade, we just go ahead and hit him with the Super Splash to take that knockout. Um, but yeah, is the Guardi, um, which is a little bit going to be quite a bit easier for us to knock out with the Kingdra. They definitely need an end to back up this play this turn. They already have the knockout through the Guardi there. So yeah, they need an end to back this play up, and then it could get... Uh, a little iffy for us but nope there's just an infinite force so we're just gonna go ahead and get this knockout here with kingdra we're gonna be four in the discard pile two in hand um we even have a choice band so with plenty of energy to take the knockout here on this guard war and uh yeah pretty easy attach uh, i'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of this and this one two three four would not be surprised if they conceded at any point now as we're about to close this one out with the hydro pump there we go one. Uh, sure, let's go ahead and throw another one on there. And Hydro Pump for the knockout on the guard board. And we take this one pretty cleanly. I mean, they didn't have a great start. They just kind of, there was awkward choices though with the Magical Ribbon and the Mysterious Guidance stuff for sure. And we take this one pretty handily here against the guard board deck. Uh, I mean, there's a reason guard board is not that great and expanded anymore. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. The Archie Stoys. This is how I would play the deck um, from here on out. Like I said in the video, or leading up in the video, like, I mean, cards you can, like, potentially cut out of the deck would be, like, Second Field Blower or the Articuno. Both those cards are, like, not super consistently always good. The Ar Onyx is also a little bit iffy. Um, really good against Zoro Garb and Picaram. Not really good against much else. Although it is nice to have just, like, a one-prize attacker that does 120 sometimes. So that's kind of cool. Um, but, yeah, that's all I got to say on the list. That's all the games I got for you guys for today with the deck. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to give it a like. If you're enjoying the content, be sure to subscribe. Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Be sure to uh, check the description for links to my live stream as well as all my social medias. Check all that fun stuff out. Uh, have a good day. Thanks for watching and peace.